I think President Trump's been very clear. He believes in free trade, believes in fair trade. Everybody in the administration believes in free and fair trade. That's what we're trying to get to. It's not protectionism. It puts high tariffs on any exports coming in. So there's a lot of areas where Canada is simply not practicing free trade, and then they, they're protected by NAFTA, and they want to keep it that way. And of course, President Trump is going to negotiate for us uh, a much better deal. If you look at the differences in the two, their backgrounds say it all. Justin Trudeau grew up in a political family. He grew up basically a trust fund kid. Donald Trump did grow up wealthy as well, but he's been in business his entire life. So being a businessman and coming into the negotiations, I think, is a very different thing. And if we want to talk about timber a little bit. You know, why doesn't Canada consider privatizing their timber industry? If we want to get to a fair trade deal, let's, let's talk about that as a potential negotiating point on the table. We are 20 times larger than Mexico. We're 11 times larger than Canada. We're $3 trillion greater than the EU. The economic suicide for them to do any meaningful retaliation. After years of stagnant wage growth, stagnant stagnant growth economically, we're finally seeing this. We're fi after just four months, we put a three handle on unemployment, 3.9%. That's the lowest since 2000. What does that mean? That means that millennials, people that are graduating from high school right now, this is the lowest unemployment rate since they were born. They've never seen it this low.